why the DRE is important. And it should have, I think, four or five element. So one may be uh, the, it should be customized according to the requirement of the certain type of group users. It should also include innovation. It includes maybe employment generation, one of the component, which will enhance its, uh, I think, replicability and more scalability. And finance is one of the critical element. And as uh, the Chandan sir has mentioned that it is one of the major challenge. It should be uh, floated either from uh, the government side or it's maybe through the business model where this financing can happen and the investors can come to uh, finance such DRE projects. I also want to see that uh, the in India, I think whatever the programs, if we initiate, it will certainly have the transformative effect. So the scale you can able to generate uh, and whatever the solutions for the related to DRE, you can able to uh, get the consumers. There may be the uh, demand may be available in the market. And uh, I also want to just say that uh, in order to the decarbonization or the energy transition with the international obligations, we have came out with the either COP or the NDC. Energy efficiency is one of the element and the electrification is the essential element where the DRE can play a major role. And with the integration of energy efficiency and renewable, I think the cost effective or the affordable, reliable electricity solutions can be provided to the certain uh, consumers, group of consumers. Uh, these are the some slides giving how the energy efficiency make uh, the impact on the affordability. So if we see that around 40% uh, your requirement, if you target for 2030, can be meted through the energy efficiency and energy efficiency is the element where I think the innovation you can able to do and you can make the affordable solutions for those groups. Uh, Government of India has also have came out the two, uh, the program, one is the lifestyle for the environment and another is the uh, Bureau of Energy Efficiency Carbon Trading Program. So they also may provide some questions for integration of the DRE in the energy efficiency domain and whatever the CO2 emissions can be avoided, that can be uh, capitalized through the carbon trading, uh, trading market. ESLS came out uh, this DRE uh, initiatives, so with the support of MNRE and with the collaboration with the IIT Bombay, we have came, uh, executed this 70 lakh solar study lamp scheme. It is a very unique program uh, carried out in the four states and it is uh, provide the affordable lighting solution. So it is not the energy solution, but affordable lighting solution for the school going children. And it has uh, given a very good uh, footprint and the impact. So the, there are came out of around at 32 solar shops just because of this program. So the employment generation is very, very can be integrated and uh, all these DRE programs should be focused on the employment generation. Also, there are the repair maintenance centers have came out. Large scale training has been provided. More than 7,000 self-help group members have been associated with this program. Second, uh, with the Maharashtra DISCOM, ESLS came out this solarization of uh, agriculture feeders. So around 195 megawatt capacity has been installed at 159 locations. And primarily these uh, solar feeders are, or the plants are up to two to 10 megawatts. So different uh, segments have been came out and it is very successful program uh, with the support of the DISCOM of Maharashtra. With, uh, I think this initiative, this PM Kusum is outcome from the success of this uh, scheme. Third initiatives we have came out with the support of MLR is the Atal Jyoti Yojana. Here also the rural 
uh, the pathways has been lightened with the uh, uh, LED and the solar lights. So this has also uh, part of the one of the scheme of the MNRE. And here uh, the, uh, uh, the parliamentary uh, locations has been, so the, uh, with the support of the honorable member of parliament, they have provided the list of villages where these uh, so, uh, solar street lights are to be implemented. And ESL has completed these programs. And the uh, last we have came out one of the program and the, it is the solar PV based induction cook stove project. So this is the one of the I think the key element where uh, the Pran Mantri uh, this uh, Surya Ghar Yojana or the other initiatives can be collaborated because it will uh, give the uh, transformational change of requirement of the LPG based or the PNG based consumers. and. Uh, the induction cook stove is the most efficient cooking device. It has the efficiency of 84%. So if it can be integrated with the battery storage and maybe integration with the, uh, the grid. So this can provide a good uh, maybe solutions where the LPG need can be reduced down and whatever the subsidy component of the, which may be currently available for the LPG or PNG consumers that can be diverted and it can be a very large scale program can be choked out. Uh, so currently this PM uh, Surya Ghar Yojana along with the v, uh, ESL has launched out the National Clean Cooking uh, Appliance Program. Uh, both can be blended together and it can be able to provide a clean uh, and efficient cooking solutions. So these are the, I think, the initiatives which ESL has carried out. And whatever the uh, requirement, maybe a quintessential element of the DRE, we have tried to incorporate in these program. Although uh, these projects are funded from the government side. Thank you. Thank you. Very important initiatives from ESL. My